Hello and welcome back to another tutorial here on the channel. Today we are going to be looking at goalkeepers and I know most of you are thinking, oh how hard is it to train a goalkeeper? It is completely overpowered training wise and we're going to just get into this video now and look at the key aspects of uh, what to look for with a goalkeeper if you are out there searching for a regen or maybe just looking to bolster your time with a, well, your team with a really good goalkeeper. So uh, we're going to use David De Gea here for this experiment. Uh, let's have a quick look. He is a 90 overall at the start of career mode. Um, I'm going to back out now. I'm going to jump in to uh, an edited version where he is a 99 and we'll look at the key aspects and stats of what you need to train and look for when you're looking for that goalkeeper. Right, so we've got David De Gea. He is a 99 overall. Let's jump in and have a look at the key stats that you want to be looking out for when you're looking for your next goalkeeper. Um, so we'll jump straight in and I can tell you right now, it's pretty much nothing. Uh, well, the goalkeeper stats are all at 99. Let's go through the values of them. Goalkeeper diving is worth 21 points. Um, so a quite substantial amount of his overall. Handling is 21 as well. Um, kicking is only worth five, so not the highest. So that means for every 20 points in kicking, he will go up in one rating. Uh, positioning and reflexes are both at 21 as well. So you can see here why the goalkeeper training is so completely overpowered, uh, because you can train all of these in two slots. So uh, effectively getting him all the way up uh, just to being a world's best goalkeeper. But there is one other stat that you need to be looking for when you are looking for your goalkeeper. Um, it comes in reactions. Now this is something that you cannot train. So if you're out there looking for a goalkeeper, this is the number one thing I think you need to be looking for is looking at his reactions. Now if you're using a youth academy keeper, generally the reactions are gonna be fairly low. Um, so if you get in and train them too early, their reactions sort of stutter a little bit and uh, you may not get him to that highest capable level of what he is. So sometimes I'll suggest if you, if you sign up two really good keepers, train the crap out of one so that you've got a playing keeper and then the other one one, just let go. Don't train him. Don't let him do anything. Just let him mature and marinate on his own. His reactions will actually start growing a little bit better than the one that you are training. And then later in the career mode, you can train the absolute bejesus out of him and he'll probably become your number one keeper. If you're out there looking for regens or uh, real goalkeepers in a real career mode, well then reactions is probably the number one stat that I'll be looking for. Uh, David De Gea has 88 reactions at the start of career mode, uh, one of the highest reactions for any goalkeeper. Uh, there is a couple of other goalkeepers out there that you could keep an eye on, uh, probably Oblak from uh, Atletico Madrid I believe. Uh, would be another interesting one that you could probably train up. But uh, that's it, there's just the five uh, goalkeeping stats and reactions. That's completely to control a keeper. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna jump into a career mode. I'm gonna chuck uh, David De Gea into the two key uh, training stats and training for a season. He has a potential of 92. I think we can push him past that. Um, so let's get into it and see what we can take David De Gea to in one season. Right, so it is the 17th of June. I have simulated the full season before they leave on international duty. We have tr one training session left. Manchester United have absolutely smashed the league with the extra training there to uh, David De Gea. And I had three extra spots, so uh, using some of the previous tutorials, uh, like the likes of Pogba, I found out if we trained him defensively, he grew a little bit quicker, so we've done that as well. And uh, Manchester United are looking like a very big, beastly team, taking the league by 20 points. So let's just jump quickly in here to the training. Uh, you've got the two main ones here in rushing the attacker and defending the crosses. Rushing the attacker, of course, is the first one. It covers positioning, reflexes, and diving, which is 63% of his overall being increased with every training session. And then defend the crosses, you've got handling and kicking, which uh, increases at 24% of his overall. Obviously, reflexes, we can't train. He did go up by one, I believe, in reflexes. We'll jump in and have a look at that shortly. Let's just uh, simulate this one through. Pogba up to a 91, only training him on defensive endurance and uh, Rashford there with advanced crossing has leapt up about five rating himself. So uh, yeah, we'll just finish this off his training for this season. Oh, he gets another A there in defending the crosses, almost up to 90 handling. And all right, let's back out, head over to the squad hub and have a quick look here. Now they have fixed up the squad hub so we can have a better look at um, De Gea here in the stats. So, uh, What's he done there? 37 appearances with 21 clean sheets. Not a bad day out there for David De Gea. 
Um, so we'll jump across here. You can see his reactions have gone up 1 to 89, so that's definitely going to help him pushing on towards that 99. I reckon another season or two. Obviously, his training's going to slow right down because he's already at that overall of 95. So we've already gone three past the uh, the overall that um, he was supposed to get to. That's how OP the goalkeeper training is. Diving up five, handling up four, kicking up seven, reflexes up five, and positioning up six. I reckon we could probably train him for another season, another full season, um, and we'd go very close to having a 99 rated goalkeeper. And that's only two slots. So, I mean, if you really want a wall sitting there at the back that no one is really ever going to beat, um, feel free to just bomb two slots every single week on your goalkeeper. But yeah, I just felt like we had to have a quick look and make sure there wasn't anything we were missing on a goalkeeper. So uh, that will end this training tutorial. Don't think we've got too many positions left to do. I'll have a look at what we've completed so far. Um, and see what else I can bring to the channel in regards to tutorials. You guys seem to be uh, using these a little bit. But um, yeah, that will end today's video. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit when you're looking for a new goalkeeper. And we will see you in another video. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one.